When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Suki really wants something unique. I'm more in the sense of like, hey, how much does it cost? Hey, see, I told you I like it still it's beautiful. does not fit. That's nice, man. What's up? You just got to lose some weight in here. We're looking at starting easily five to 7,000. What? You went and did this? without even consulting me as a surprise, as a gift to me, and now you're asking me and my dad to pay for a gift? Come on, seriously? Weddings are a bride decked out from head to toe. Weddings are a dance under falling snow. Weddings are expenses that grow and grow. Meet Suki and Gerj, just married. The road to their winter-themed wedding was bogged down by some pretty chilly disagreements. Let's follow in their footsteps and see if this couple survived their wedding and came out with some cold, hard cash. My name is Suki, and I'm a 29-year-old television reporter. I met Gerj a chef three years ago when I interviewed him for a segment on a show. He taught me how to cook on air, and it was love at first bite. This is a story about how we planned our huge Indian wedding on a budget. Our wedding day was amazing. I was so happy. Yeah, and you should be because I planned most of it. How did you plan most of it? Well, pretty much all the things I wanted for the wedding we got, and most of them were all of my ideas. Babe, it was an amazing time. Their wedding may have been all her ideas, but it wasn't all her money. Let's go back in time and see how this couple spent their parents' money on the wedding of their dreams. We wanted our wedding planners just for helping us with a huge Indian wedding. There's lots of pre-events, um, you know, this wedding day, lots going on, the reception day, lots going on. We needed help. Meet wedding planners Laura Attendido and Kelly Spinelli. Laura and Kelly have five years of experience working with free spending brides. But what happens when the groom's a pushover and it's his father who holds the purse strings? How about we chat with our decorator and then she'll come up with a budget and then we'll show it to mom and dad okay. and then they can decide. But I know they're gonna totally go along with it because I'm only having 150 no people. <laughs> so, well, you might have a choice when you see the numbers in front of you. You can choose no and just close that book. Our roles as wedding planners is to really help the couple manage their wedding plans by giving them great suggestions but also helping to give them advice on where to spend their money and talking about money sometimes parents have a big financial role in planning a wedding and we need to open up lines of communications in terms of spending it wisely okay Suki Gurge tell us about your vision for the wedding I would like something like winter wonderland black and white classy unique mm, and yes. we're really open to suggestions so okay. if you have any great ideas to make it look very couture, very, okay. very unique. Uh, please bring those ideas to not, me. Not Do you have any ideas for yeah, special elements? My, or yeah. my ideas are not too many ideas. Okay. We kind of have a budget in mind. I have to ask, who's footing the bill? Uh, my dad uh, will be paying for everything that has to do with the reception. Are we going to be traditional and run everything past your father, your yeah, dad? So uh, not Pop really. Papa Dolly, well, Papa D, my dad, Papa he can, D. He can, he's the banker of the family. He controls the funds, where they're allocated, where they're going. He does control so. the funds. However, he's already spoken to us and said that he has complete faith in us and he knows we're going to have a great party and he just wants everyone to have fun. Right. And he wants to ensure that me, the new daughter into the family, well, is happy. But at the same so time, he, he doesn't want to be put in the poorhouse. He's gonna, he wants to retire soon. So I along know, the way, we'll just be sensitive happy. to the fact that some yes. decisions will have to be run yes. by him. The agreement was then we could have the wedding of our dreams. But no, on budget. It, it, Are uh, you dreaming the same dream, though? I think so. Every single thing has to do with the wedding. I want to be consulted. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a control freak for sure. But you know what? My dad's paying for this wedding. Well, the majority of it, the reception. So you know what? I'm trying to help him out. Just trying to be his, trying to be his banker, trying to help him out. What about a venue? Where do we sit in that? Have you guys started the hunt for that? Do you have anything in mind? We're a little bit limited because of our numbers and our guest lists. So what, what are those numbers? We're looking at a neighborhood of like 900. 
I'm sorry, is that just for reception day or is that for ceremony and reception? Because I know in the Indian culture you do two days, right? We Same. do, but this yeah. is our reception numbers. Yeah. Only and, reception, okay. um, wow. I'm only allowed about 100 or 150 of those guests. Okay. So we need to find a venue that obviously yes. can accommodate up to 1,000 guests potentially. Yes. Okay, guys, what about photography? We've got a great photographer. My only concern is that uh, Gurdjieff's family may expect me to take pictures with his entire family at the reception, and there is no way. Just, just to say, not like, just no. you, both of us. Well, yes, obviously both of us. We Third. invited the guests. We should take pictures. We, we want... did not invite them. Your family no, invited them. No, we invited them. No, I did not invite them. Your, Your family... name is on the invitation. Yes. It's not the same. Um, wedding. Well, I don't know. Okay. Seven hundred of those people that are coming. Maybe an area that will hopefully be simpler is wedding attire. Have you guys thought about that yet? Where do we stand? It's definitely not simpler. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, give it to us. I went to India and Excellent. I ordered Gurge's outfit. Suki was there, pretty much figured out my entire outfit. I gave her the measurements. That's all the input I had. And, uh, you know, it was made based on her outfit. What about yours? should be fine, yeah. My outfit, um, I've got my wedding outfit. And yeah, I've for both days? No, we're still looking at a reception outfit from Gurdjieff's side of the family. Okay. And Gurdjieff's family will also be purchasing additional um, uh, outfits that they would like me to wear after I get married. So we've still got to purchase those. So how many outfits are we talking? I think close to like 9 to 12 to 15, whatever they decide. 9 to 12 to 15? They say they Let's want an odd number. Okay. How about three? That's not a number. What about any special entertainment? We've booked a uh, Bangara dance team, which Excellent. I'm very excited about, about. But we're also looking for something else that perhaps you guys can bring to the table. Something very unique, something not traditionally Indian. Something surface. to add to that that's not over the top, mm. that's not tacky, that okay. still fits into a classy wedding feel. And still fits into the budget. Well, what is the budget? That's really what it all comes down to. Here you go. Thank you. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? You know what, guys? This is this is actually a really good place to start from. Yeah, we can work yeah. from here. No, you're not starting from there. That's what the budget is. That's what you have to work with. We'll Make keep it... Papa D happy. Keep him happy and keep him out of the poorhouse. Coming up. Hey, see, I told you. I like it. It's still it's beautiful. Does not fit. That's nice. What's up? You just gotta lose some weight in here. A little bit in here. A little bit in here. Maybe a little bit more in here. That's your solution. Remember the centerpiece being one of those really flowy, frilly things that uh, that my chopsticks kept getting caught on. Is at the reception. Mm, it was all it was tra traditional Chinese reception, um, but uh, I remember the flowers are really pretty. But they're getting in my way. When it comes to compiling the guest lists for your wedding, it's a good idea to keep the numbers as low as you can. We invited the guests. We should take pictures with them. We want... did not invite them. Your family no, invited them. No, we invited them. No, I did not invite them. Your, Your name family. is on the invitation. Yes. It's not to uh, say Gurge's well, wedding. Well, I don't know. Okay. 700 of those people that are coming. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple kept the numbers low or if the spending went up and up. So with every Indian wedding, you need a lot of outfits, and Gertrude's family had decided to purchase a lot of outfits for me. So we all went shopping, and I went with my parents and Gertrude's parents, and his sister also decided to come along. Yeah, we had to send somebody. She's like the protector of the checkbook. She's coming, so get ready. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Oh, wow. This is for the wedding. So we still need to get our reception outfit and then all the other outfits that uh, the Dolly Walls would like to purchase uh, for the wedding. So how about we pick out the reception outfit today uh, in addition to all the other outfits that you guys okay, uh, we'll want to buy? We'll talk about how many all the other outfits are going to be, so. Obviously the reception one would have to be really, really fancy, um, but the other outfits I'll definitely be willing to work within your parents' budget. Okay. And Carm's here to make sure you do, Suki. So, okay, I really like this one. I think you should try this one on. It's a beautiful color, and I think it'll suit you very well. Really? How much is that? Oh, this one only is seven, $700. 700 Oh, okay. But not for the reception, though. So which outfit do you have in mind? Um, I mean, like, this is really nice. $2,800 for one outfit? It doesn't look like these two are on the same page. I just want to be a little bit careful. I mean, we can't do it for 2800 on one. That's not going to work. As long as we can set like a big budget for the reception outfit, I'm willing to go smaller on all the other outfits. What's a big budget? Do you really want to ask that question? Something that's 
looks really nice, looks really classy, looks like, you know, it's totally my style and something that not the average Joe would wear. And not what the average Joe could afford. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know how Gurdjieff's gonna feel about this because this isn't what his intention was. Do you wanna pick out some other ones? Sure. How about, um, I'll grab this one too. Maybe a potential, potential reception outfit. You know, that's kind of nice. Okay, 2300 23 Oh, yeah, so that's way better. 2300 that's way better. $500, Suki? Are you kidding me? I don't think she's kidding. So, Karma, this is the outfit you selected. It's really nice, but it's not my style. So, not for the reception, but um, I don't know. If you like it so much, why don't you get this to wear to the wedding? First off, I'm just glad I got her to try on that purple outfit because that was just hideous, so that's just too funny. <laughs> I knew she wasn't going to buy it, but I got her to try it on, so that was great. Um, overall, Suki's got some very expensive taste. I'm not sure if I really like that, and that's going to be good for my dad's pocket. I know Gertrude is just going to want to see me look amazing, and he wants me to be happy, so whatever outfit I do decide on, regardless of the cost, he'll be happy with it, and um, Carmen really won't have a say in that. I didn't really have a lot of choice when it came to the venue, but I sure want to make that place look the way I wanted it to look. And we all know what that means. There's four tables here. We're okay. going to start with this one. Yeah. We have the Damask Runner. Um, and we're going to stay with the theme that you wanted, Suki. So mm -hmm. that's with the winter couture. Yeah, I really, I really like this. We went with a pin tuck white on here. It's a lot nicer than just the plain white polyester. But nicer always means more expensive. So I'm going to take you to the yeah. next table. Okay. So for this one, we're going to do a full damask instead of just the runner with a candle abra. Very couture, right? Couture sounds... Expensive. expensive. It doesn't just sound expensive, it is expensive. Let's just look at all the options Let's look first, at all the options. and then we'll, we'll get back to yeah. talking prices. The next one, we have the black pin tuck, once mm. again with yeah. the square, and then we have the ostrich feathers in the tall silver candle. This is massive. This is this obviously makes a very bold statement, yeah. right? What's the statement we're trying to make here? Well, it's a wow factor, it's height. Height has a presence. And it has a price. So we're going to go to our final one. Okay. This is the newest centerpiece out. That's it gorgeous. It is all full it. crystals. And we will add the short or tall candles. This is nice. I've never seen anything like this. It's very that's winterish. Very, yes, that's like, perfect with your theme, right? Winter glam. And it may get a cold reception from Papa D. What would this cost? We're looking at about 150 per setting. Per, per setting. table. Yes. 150. Yes. Okay. Per, wow. per table. Yes. Because yeah. we're looking at about 90 tables, so easy math. Per we're table. over 10,000 just in table dressings. Yeah. Okay, so this is obviously beautiful, and we know the cost of this, which is a little on the pricey side. So let's talk about maybe the three different other tables. How much, what, what, what are we looking at for cost? So we're starting with um, the one with the black feather ball. That would be That's $50 better. per like table. That. Looks good. Okay. Uh, the second one with the black candle abra would be also $50 for the full table. Then the third one, that would be $75. Okay, 75 How do you guys feel about that one? I kind of like the option of the one... One is a 50, maybe it's a one is a 75. So you're thinking matching. of two different, two different table options. Yeah. Two, maybe one, Suki? One? I'm not having a whole haul with this one centerpiece. Would what you? about having two of those options? I can't just have two centerpieces. Has anyone noticed we're counting up? Okay, what about taking all three of the cheaper options? Because I'm not getting this one, you have to let me have all three. Okay, but something else you wanted too was also draping, right? You were talking about draping this entire venue. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be on top of the centerpieces. What are we looking at to drape this entire room? The entire hall? The entire yes. perimeter. So we're looking at starting easily five to seven thousand. What? Yeah, that's totally fine. What do you mean five to seven thousand dollars? Yeah, that's totally fine. That's not fine. I still have to take this budget of like the tables, the decor, and now you're asking me to take like some kind of wall budget to my dad and be like, you know what, I need, we need the walls covered? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's fine. Cause like our theme is black and white and the walls here and the curtains are yellow and red. That totally doesn't go with our theme. Have you considered changing the theme? Another $7,000 just to do the walls? That's a lot on top of your budget. I I'm doing quick math. We're getting over $20,000 in decor here. You're gonna put my dad in the poorhouse at $20,000 just on decor, like. Well, I don't know why I feel about is that. he inviting 900 people then? You know what? This is a big deal. 
He wants to show off a little bit to his friends. Yeah, then I want to show off to the 150 of my friends and family that are coming, and this is what I want. I want the entire hall decorated and black and white, and I want piping around the entire hall. Gerds, you need to talk to your parents about 20,000 plus worth of decor. I'll talk to them. I don't know what the answer is going to be. But... It's going to be yes. The toughest thing about working with a budget that's not mine and you're working with uh, my dad's budget is just the fact that, you know, you, you kind of want to have a balance of being extravagant and fun, but you also want to keep in mind that, you know what, it's not my money I'm playing with here. This is, uh, you know, this is house money you're playing with, not my own money that I'm working with here. So definitely it's tough. It's a little bit of give and take. And when you're working with Suki to achieve this goal, sometimes it's tough. And then when there's a little bit of, always a little bit of this. So Gerd was having a few issues with his outfit, his wedding outfit, so I asked a couple of his friends to come over so he could try it on and get their opinion. And your girlfriend's opinions as well. Gerd, are you ready? Um, I'm a little nervous. Come on out, don't be nervous. Oh, Bollywood's in the house! Yeah, Bollywood might be in the house, but this is really tight Bollywood. Hey, see, I told you, I like it your still it's beautiful. does not fit. What's up? It looks as tight as the budget. You just gotta lose some weight in here, a little bit in here, a little bit in here, maybe a little bit more in here. That's her solution. Why don't you get it taken out a bit on the sides? Can't. Why not? No material. Maybe so, a little stretch of it. Looks like it. How's like, it gonna stretch? Have you tried to sit cross-legged? Because you're gonna have to do that for like three hours. I was trying earlier. <laughs> okay, you don't, you don't wanna rip it. You don't wanna yeah, don't, rip it. Don't uh, split your pants or anything. Because that would be a rip-off. So can buy him a new one. I don't think getting a new one's an option right now. What are you now. talking about? We need, we need some kind of backup. It matches really? my outfit, OK? It That's all you care about. Well, I'm telling you, with the outfit that you picked, that matches with yours, it doesn't fit. It can't even raise like my that. arms. Look at this thing. Like, I know what she's saying. What turtle. Right? We don't even have time to get another outfit made, so you just have to make it work. This is your mistake? I use the measurements that your sister gave me. Obviously, your tailor doesn't understand numbers. So I went all the way to family. India to get this, OK? Hey, you know what? If you need to go back, you can go back. I'm too. not going back. How about we spend the money on on uh, a personal trainer and meal plans. I just want a backup outfit if we need it. I'm gonna try to get out of this thing. You yeah. need some help? No, I'm fine. I don't need your help. <laughs> Even you, you've obviously helped enough. Coming up. You, every time you guys information gather, what you're pretty much doing is you're screwing me and you're screwing Papa D and the budget. Every morning I tell her how beautiful she is, almost every morning. I forget I'm getting a little bit older and I said, you look beautiful today, honey. And, ah, she says, really? Now she has doubts, but uh, she looks beautiful. Yeah, he always tells me that the morning. He goes, you're so beautiful. I go, OK, what does he want today? When it comes to calculating the cost of your wedding, no matter how you slice it, a big bill is a big bill. I'm doing quick math. We're getting over $20,000 in decor here. You're going to put my dad in the poorhouse at $20,000 just on decor. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this bride slowed down her spending or if she fast-tracked her future father-in-law to the poorhouse. Gerj and I had already booked traditional Bhangra dancers as a form of entertainment at our reception, but I really wanted Laura and Kelly to find us something very unique and out of the box that would also entertain our guests. Tell us, what are we looking this at here? Awesome. Well, you're looking at a whole whack of stuff. We've got uh, Ryan here, who's an optic manipulation specialist. He's doing something called contact juggling. It's an acrylic ball that uh, he manipulates. And that kind of looks like ice, guys. Like, yes. I know, it falls yes. into the theme. Yes. So I don't want you to get all like crazy, oh, I need this, I need this, I need this. Well, you guys and then... wanted something, you know, unique. Suki That's... really wants something unique. I'm more in the sense of like, hey, how much does it cost? Unique always costs, Scourge. Let's keep looking what other our options are. So over here we've got Nigel. He's the national yo-yo champion and has been what? for a number of years. You have a celebrity at your wedding. That's incredible, eh? Yeah, no, Nigel's one of the best. You know what might Definitely be really cool, Suki, is to get a few of these kind of grand performers. Maybe that might be an option. Yeah, a couple. At least a couple. Well, they don't take up a lot of room. They may take up some room in Papa D's budget, though. We can look at uh, Ryan again as well. He does the ring manipulation, which is beautiful for weddings, hence the whole ring. OK. It's uh, a form of object manipulation. It messes with your brain a little bit. Yeah, it's messing with my brain a little bit, Travis, right now. I'm not going to lie to you. That's because you're wondering how to explain this idea to Papa D. What are we looking at budget-wise? So starting around $500, and then it just goes up and up and up. So starting, depending on what you want. Starting at $500. That's OK. $500 is not bad. Starting at $500. $500 is not that bad. Starting at $500. For an amazing performer like one of these. 
So Suki, are you comfortable getting two or three different performers, or just? What do you mean? Is she comfortable? Like, well, my dad's the one that controls the budget, so. I know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take this Papa D, but you have to choose one thing. Why just one? Just one. Good. Not happening. I'm sorry. Papa D is not gonna say no. You know he's not gonna say no. Gurge, I just need you to tell him that this is what we want and then he's gonna say yes. I'll take it to him. I gotta sell him on a juggler now. Just make it happen. So our wedding planners took us to this amazing place and they suggested another idea that would fall into our winter wonderland theme that no one has ever seen at an Indian wedding before. Another idea. So let's go on back in here, guys, where we have our snow machine on display. A what? Which uh, is why we're here. Snow machine. That sounds like an amazing idea. It what is amazing. What do you need a snow machine for? Can someone explain this to me? You wanted to see some unique ideas to create more of a winter theme. Suki so. had asked for some unique things that hadn't been done well, before. Suki has asked. You, every time you guys information gather, what you're pretty much doing is you're screwing me, and you're screwing Papa D and the budget. Hey, we're hey. just providing We're options. just showing you the options, exactly. We're and not saying you have to take it. This, this is the cost effect. Yes, and this is what we asked for. We asked them to show us different so ideas. may I offer you the demonstration of the snow machine? Yes, and that yes. Once, yes. once you have a look at it, then you can decide whether this is what you would like or not. Okay. Absolutely. So, bear Fire with me, we'll turn around. We were thinking just something minimalistic in terms of first dance. Okay, think about first dance. Go first dance, look. Yeah, go test, go it, test out. it out. Get in there. Get in there. I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Our groom is getting cold feet. Oh, I like this. Real. You can't even look at me properly. No, it looks really nice. What you see here is you see a fine to medium snowfall. Okay. This snow actually dissipates and evaporates before it hits the ground. As you can oh, see, well, there is, yeah. it leaves no residue. But it may leave a lingering effect on the budget. And very, very economical. This machine rents at $189.99 a day, and the snow fluid for it is $59.99 a gallon. S uh, wow. wow. Snow fluid. Snow fluid. The fluids yes. actually fluid. make the snowflakes. So that's less than $200. $50. I think this is a great idea. Don't you, sweetheart? What do you think, Gerge? Did you, you know like it? It's just an option. We just wanted to give you something that yeah. was different, that was winterish, because yeah. But you every option she likes, and that option always costs money. No, you have to pick and choose. We have to keep budget in mind, yeah. but at least this this is a small fraction of your budget. It's pennies compared to the overall picture, but it will have a big impact. It's not going to break the bank, really, in the grand scheme of things. It's a minimal cost, and you wanted unique ideas. That's what we're doing, we're bringing them to the table. You can bring Gersh to the table, but you can't make him spend. Economically, I understand that, you know, it's not as big as the entire budget, but everything just keeps adding up and adding up. And I gotta take, you know, a snow machine to my father, Papa D, and explain to him, we need fake snow. Gurge, it's only $250. You know what? You, you really want this. I think it'd be you so know what? romantic. I'll, then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it to Papa D, see what he says. I don't care if you just take it to him, go to make this happen. Please, come on. Just just make it happen. Tell me you're going to make it happen. Tell me you're going to no, make it happen. No, mine. OK. I'll make it happen. Thank somehow. you. I had this genius idea on how Gurj and I could be freed up from taking pictures at our wedding reception. And I thought I'd take him to show the idea and surprise him with it. Surprise, I think, would probably be an understatement. These look great, by the way. And uh, we thought people could take pictures with these life-size cardboard no, no, no. cutouts what, at what, the reception. What is this? If you can't recognize your own bride, you have more serious problems than the budget. Well, obviously, this is you and I no, in our reception that's you. outfits. That's me. That's me. Now, what? what's it for? This is for the reception. So people can take pictures with the cardboard cutouts and you and I can enjoy our reception. Babe, you never we told me about this. You never, this was not a discussion yes, point. You know what? This is, this is a surprise. It's a gift. You Earth. paid for this? This is, this is a, you said this it's a is, gift. You said it's a gift? Well. Did you pay for this? Well, Papa D is gonna pay for it. So it's a gift for you. Gerd, trust me. This is as much for me as it is for you. Okay. This is bullshit. When did you make this plan? When did this happen? Well, when I told you that I would like us to take some pictures for our wedding website. Okay. I actually had this. Oh my mind god! Right from the get-go. This is so conniving. It's not conniving. Yes, it is. Gerd, this is for you. What's this gonna cost? They were just under a thousand bucks, all told. A what? <laughs> yeah, they're like two fifty each, and Gerd, it's well worth it. It's totally. We have a thousand dollars for four cutouts. 
Our banquet hall is huge. You can so put what? one in each corner. It's all good. So now I'll get a hold of Papa D and be like, I need $1,000 for what? How am I going to explain this to him? Why don't you send one of the cutouts to do it for you? I can't roll to Papa D and be like, I need $1,000 for this. Yeah, you can. No, we can't. Yeah, you can. It's not going to happen. Yeah, you can. You know what? Seriously, I'm, I can't do it. I won't do it. You went and did this without even consulting me as a surprise, as a gift to me. It is a surprise. Okay, and now you're asking my dad to pay for a gift? Come on, seriously? No, Papa D's not paying for this. We're gonna pay for this. We're gonna get it ourselves. It was finally time for Gurge to put his foot down. So now I guess we just take him with us? Like, I don't know how this works. We just like throw him, roll him in the car and just get like get going or what? Ew. Just get out of my way. Uh, I... Why? Why? Why is this here? Why? Why are you here? Why is this part of our reception? Doesn't need to be. Needless cost. Needless cost equals Suki. That's what this is. This. Rest of my life right here. This is what I'm marrying. Coming up. If you, if you do spend on it, it's going to take you over budget. But you know, our job is to try to keep you as close to budget as possible. This is one area that really is not going to work in the budget. Well, I was always involved. Let me start over. I was, I always had to be there with her. Now, she would always make the final decision. And I would always, yes, you're right, hon. When it comes to dealing with the cost of your wedding, be wary of people bearing surprise gifts. You went and did this without even consulting me as a surprise, as a gift to me, and now you're asking my dad to pay for a gift? Come on, seriously? No, not happening. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple's wedding was a pleasant surprise or if the total cost was a shocking revelation. Once we sat down with Laura and Kelly, I started to realize that, you know what? I'm getting a little concerned about this budget and I don't know what the heck we're gonna tell Papa D. We brought you here, you know, leading up to the wedding date. We just wanna make sure we're all on the same page, especially when it comes to the budget. Yes, there's ladies, let's, let's talk about the budget. Okay, there's those circus performers. Yeah. That's a really unique element. Mm -hmm. Are we still okay with that? And yeah, we're okay with the contact juggler. So mm -hmm. we're gonna keep that in? All right. Yeah. The snow machine, that's still good. Yes. We still want to do that. Gerd yeah. said the dance that he let me do that. Yeah, that's when we got to sell Papa Dion, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's going to happen. What about the decor? The one thing that was always up in the air was the draping, and that's one thing that Kelly and I really had some concerns about. And realistically, like you have three different centerpieces, three different linens, three different looks for the for every table, right? And then all of the draping combined, that could potentially be $20,000. You, if you do spend on it, it's going to take you over budget. But you know, our job is to try to keep you as close to budget as possible. And this is one area that really is not gonna work in the budget. So maybe it's curtains for the drapery? Yeah, I think we should definitely cut down on the pipe and draping, yeah, for sure. Gurge, well, this is something we discussed, and we totally want, want our reception to look totally different and unique and special, and when we're talking to Papa D, I need you on my side. I need you to be like, you know, present it to Papa D in a way that we both want this, and then in the end, we'll see what happens. But if I'm, the only one, if I'm the only one who wants this pipe and drape, he's gonna think I'm crazy. You, you he's have gonna to be understand like, what that the he might think on? you're crazy. You have to be prepared for the fact no, that he's gonna think you... some of your ideas are off the wall. And off the budget. We need to go Who in as pipe and drip We the... need to go in as a united front and present a our, wall budget? our you ideas. You want me to hand them over a wall budget? Dad, uh, Suki needs $9,000 to like pipe and drape the entire walls of the inside of the reception. Yes, venue. because we Come already on. we already compromised by going with that venue. Okay, so, so let's just let's let's, let's put that one to the side. Yeah, let's put it to the That's side, but it is something now. that would okay. free up a lot of money for you. Is there anything else now coming up to the wedding we need to know about? Well, I know I kind of didn't mention this earlier, ahead, and I probably should have, yep. but I spent some money. Some money. Almost $1,000 on okay. um, life-size cardboard cutouts of Gurj and I. A thousand bucks on cardboard Sorry, cutouts. What, what, what do you mean cardboard cutouts? Oh, yeah, tell her. Break it down. Yeah, it's, a great, it it's a great idea. OK, great idea. Uh, let's hear it. Remember we were talking about how we don't want to spend the entire reception taking pictures with all of Gurj's family, right. especially the 900 people Time that Gurj's family is inviting. Okay. Oh, I think I know so where this is going. So I had yeah. life-size cardboard cutouts created of Gurj and I, which we'll place around the reception. I would love for 
for you guys to be responsible for them. And people can just take pictures with them. And it'll be really fun, she very entertaining. Lying to me. Let's do it. Let's all Does, that does Papa, Papa D know about this? No. We no, we, d we decided this is something that we'll pay for. Just because it'll be a little hard to sell Papa D on okay, this one. Okay. Bottom line, cardboard cutouts or not, we have to be real here. And if you want everything that we've just talked about, you will be over budget. So it's our job to bring that to your attention and we gotta see what is being cut. From this meeting, you guys are gonna go to your dad and figure out what is in and what is out. Because we're coming down to the wire, you don't have much time left, so we really if need to get these things decisions or if we're made. Booking things, it needs to be done now. Mm -hmm. You better be on a united front with me when we go to see Papa D. After meeting with Laura and Kelly uh, about our budget, you know, it was a little bit alarming. And now we had to take that budget to Papa D and just try to make some cuts. It didn't help that your sister was there. With the wedding coming up, we're making the final decisions on where the money is being spent. And then when we talk about money being spent, we're talking about your money being spent. So we're looking to get the piping and the draping of the entire reception. The cost of it is pretty expensive. It's like, what, seven to... I think anywhere from like seven to $10,000. I don't see how you're gonna get $10,000 worth of value just doing the pipe and drape. Like, I mean, I'd go back to the essentials. I don't know, like, do we need the entire hall piped and draped with the curtains and the white walls and the whole thing? Like, I don't know. Is there like something we can do, like a compromise? I thought you were supposed to have Sookie's back, Gersh. Well, okay, how about I compromise on that and we we lose the pipe and drape, uh, just the pipe and drape. Okay. But we're still upping the decor, like we discussed, like the different centerpieces. Okay. Um, how many centerpieces are you thinking? Three or four, we're thinking. No, I thought we were leaning more towards three. Okay, so are you had some other ideas as well? The entertainment. Yeah, okay, so maybe, you know what? Okay, I'll, yeah, okay, so exactly. we want to entertain our guests. We yeah. want them to be, uh, have a great time, you know, the great food, great entertainment. Get ready. Um, yeah, you relax, get you're on my side. I'm on your side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we, we've booked a Pangana team, so there'll be a Pangana team performing. Okay. And then we're looking at something very unique, never before seen. This, this gentleman, he manipulates these crystal balls, and it's something that you can go from so table to contact table. Contact juggler, I think. Whatever. Contact juggler, that's what his name is. That's what he would be called. And he has to have contact with your wallet. You know, I'm kind of with Suki on this one. Like, I'm, I kind of already told him that we're, we're already going to arrange a deposit. I think or... you already pay the deposit with your dad's credit card. It sounds like the groom has been doing some juggling of his own. You guys are just like jumping in and booking stuff. Like, no, it's your wedding, and that's fine, but it's more of your bit wedding and more of a say you guys would have if you were fitting the bill for it. If they're not paying anything for this wedding, then really everything should be okayed and cleared, whether you guys are okay to have it or not. If not, then well, you guys both work, you both have some income and whatever extras you want, you guys should be fitting the bill for that yourself. At this point, it will take more than a foot. Yeah, you know what, that's something we were told at the beginning process yeah, of this Yeah, we discussed well. this yes. when we first wanted to get married. No, 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 we no. wanted the small wedding, Remember but you guys the wanted budget? the big wedding. Remember the budget? So, so the budget is it's kind of, we call it a floating budget. It is a fixed yes. budget. That's what I'm paying it. A fixed budget, okay. It's actually an expense report, but that's okay. So basically, the thing that we have, another thing that's booked for the reception is um, a snow machine. It's it's pretty cool. It's very so unique. You, how, how does that work? So then during our slow dance, um, you'll see this beautiful snow sprinkling down on us and it's very affordable, extremely affordable. Your definition of affordable is different than his definition yeah. of affordable. And Papa D's definition of budget. Anything else that you guys have kind of thought about, pie in the sky, anything else you guys want that we'll hear about in a week or two weeks from now, or are we done? I think we're... I think we're pretty... Good. we're good. I think so. So from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. or whatever it ends yeah. up being, you've got the whole entire evening planned. There's no time for anything else, right? Yes. 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 Coming up. Are we looking for pants? Yeah, we are, but... And any luck? This one is pantsless. Is pantless. He cannot go streaking through the temple. My best man, he um, accidentally dropped the ring, and when he turned back to pick it up, his pants ripped right down the center seam. 
and um, it actually is on camera. When it comes to spending for your wedding day, be prepared to negotiate. If they're not paying anything for this wedding, then really everything should be okayed and cleared, whether you guys are okay to have it or not. If not, then well, you guys both work, you both have yeah, sure. some income, and whatever extras you want, you guys should be fitting the bill for that yourself. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if Papa D was willing to pay for extras, or if this couple had to go it alone. The morning of the wedding for me was a little stressful because I didn't sleep at all during the night and I had to wake up at four o'clock because that's when my hair and makeup artist arrived. Now who's trying on something too tight? Uh, my wedding morning was a little bit less stressful in the sense that I got, you know, about five, six hours sleep and I just had to wake up, shower and put my outfit on, wait for my uncle to tie my turban. But I heard you had some issues with your outfit. I am not really used to these things, but um, they're tight everywhere. So, I mean, look at this. I don't even know how to even like, it's so low. Okay. Yeah. I gotta tell you the story, I just, I think I almost split my pants. Almost or did you? Yeah. I think There's I might no have. Do we have backup pants? No. What did you wear at your wedding? Different color. Different color? Ooh. Will people notice pants? Yeah, they'll yeah, notice pants, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's walking around. A little thicker. I almost thinking about bringing the backup pants. Like sweatpants? No, 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 not sweatpants. We, we were focused too much on this region. What did you do? No, like actual, like the actual pants from your wedding. Like no joke, I'm thinking about bringing this backup. I'm on it. I guess Suki didn't get a backup outfit for Gurge after all. So it should be able to fit them. Oh, pants are not in here. Okay. Hi. Are we looking Either. for pants? Yeah, we are, but. And I mean, any luck? This one is pantsless. It's pantless. Okay, we, what's in this bag? And this one. Do you have anything that would do, like, even if it's not a great alternative? He cannot go streaking through the temple. Poor Gurge. Looks like he may be the butt of many jokes. Try those. And then. Those should... Do these look Gurgis size? Those are not Gurgis size. Those are definitely not Gurgis size. <laughs> Let's try these guys here. I promised him I would not leave without pants. I gotta tell you, I did not think I'd be doing this on Saturday morning. This was my biggest fear, but he assured us they would... No, oh, no pants. Okay. okay, let's grab those and hopefully they'll work. Um, Otherwise... We cut them open. Yeah. <laughs> and Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me just, just see. I mean. <laughs> yeah, let's hope for the best. <laughs> okay. I'll bring a sewing kit and a staple yeah. gun just in case. I must say I was pretty uh, amazed when I saw Suki when she first uh, sat down beside me. I was just, I'd never seen the outfit, outfit before, so I was pretty, I was pretty taken back to um, how beautiful you looked that day. Coming up. Are you serious? No, Over. we're just posing with it. There's nothing going on here. This is not cool. This is not cool. We actually didn't have a rehearsal. Um, no, we didn't need one. It was fine. Although I wish we had rehearsed our dancing a little more, because that was a bit of a disaster. Still won't let him live that one down. <laughs> When it comes to your wedding day, it's best to be ready with backup plans. I gotta tell you the story, I just, I think I 
almost split my pants. <laughs> almost or did you? I think I might have. Do we have backup pants? No. What did you wear at your wedding? Different color. <laughs> Different color? Will people notice pants? Yeah, they'll yeah, notice pants, man. He's, he's, he's walking around. A little thicker. I almost thinking about bringing like... the backup pants. Yeah. Like sweatpants? No, 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 not we, sweatpants. We were, we were focused too much on this region. <laughs> you no, like actual, like the actual pants from your wedding. Like no joke, I'm thinking about bringing those back up. I'm on it. And soon we'll reveal if this couple kicked the habit of overspending or if Papa D was head to toe in debt. As far as the reception day went, I was, you know, I was pretty happy because we were together, but as you started to get ready, I realized that we're falling more and more behind because you had this hair and this makeup and this body art that was just taking forever. I'll be looking for time here because I'm, I don't know, I want to be there on time. We want to keep, greet our guests, mm -hmm. so... I think in about an hour. Give, give yourself, get ready in about an hour. I'm ready to go. I, my tux is laid out. I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. I gotta just put a tux on. I'll just... I need at least an hour. And don't bother me, let me just get ready. Just and be on time. No, no, just don't, just be on don't time. Don't pester, don't pester. Just be on time and, don't rush and me. just be ready to go. You know what it's like when I get rushed, so just don't rush me. Let me take my time, let me relax, and then everything will be fine. I don't want to be late. You know what? If you don't want to be late, you can go by yourself. And that's yeah, that's really good. Yeah, go by myself to our own wedding reception. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, just get get ready. go away. Just go away. Give me my space. On time. Just give me my space. Can you make sure she's on time? Yes. <laughs> on time! What can I do to help speed this process along? You can pour me a glass of wine. With or without Suki, Gersh was at the reception. Just before we arrived at the reception, our wedding planners informed us that there was a random accident and our backdrop fell at the reception venue. Um, but nonetheless, our wedding planners and our decorator came in and saved the day and overall everyone had a blast and not a lot of people even noticed that the uh, backdrop had fallen and it did not fall at all throughout the rest of the evening. Are you serious? Umar. No, 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 we're just posing with it. There's nothing going on Umar. here. This is not cool. This is not cool. It's fine. It's I fixed. thought Michelle was here at 3 in the morning doing this stuff. She, she was, was here all day, and it's fortunately she was, after she and this left, just happened. Just but don't worry, boom. we've got her on the phone, and I'm not moving. It's not going anywhere. No, nope, she's sending and more stuff. And I won't staff. be here all night. Don't it's worry, fine. we're under. We'll, no, 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 people are here. I know. They're coming. Yeah, I know. Fine. It's fine. It's under control. It's it's good right now. We're just sending extra staff to ensure that it stays. It's yeah. better that this happens now and we can solve this okay. before this place gets packed and this yeah. falls again. Honestly, guys, Cal, take them around. Show yeah. them the rest of the place. How this about place we look at the other wonderful Don't parts Don't focus of the on room. the one problem. Yeah. How about Go this? and enjoy it. And enjoy it they did, as well as all their guests and Papa D. Amazing night. I had a wonderful evening, and honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better wedding reception. Uh, the best thing, the decor, I mean, Michelle definitely came through. She was unreal with everything. And uh, I think uh, Papa D was pretty happy, too. He, he was happy. He was like snow machine at first, but honestly, people loved the snow machine. They did. And I think overall, we had a wonderful evening. I'm happy. You're happy? I love you. Papa D may have liked the snow machine. <laughs> But he might have trouble warming up to the bills. The original budget we gave Lauren Kelly was $85,000. Cupcakes came out to $543. And we were giving them away at the door. People were walking by, we like, take a cupcake because we got extras here. Um, I don't know what Suki was thinking. Gerda's wedding outfit cost us $1,000. And you know what? There were a few issues with it because it didn't fit. But in the end, it matched my outfit and it was custom ordered from India. And you know what? I don't care. It was totally worth it. I think we both looked amazing at the wedding. The total photography package cost us $3,500, which did include those crazy cardboard cutouts that Suki had ambushed me on and totally lied to me and did behind my back. Um, but I gotta admit, people people loved them. They had a great time, and you know when we were around, they were filling in for us. So it worked out pretty good. I gotta give it to Suki. That was a that was a good idea. Laura and Kelly were wonderful wedding planners. They were so easy to work with, and they only cost us five thousand uh, dollars. Walking into the venue, the night of a reception, I was pretty amazed. Um, the centerpiece looked amazing. The backdrop, the sign and guest table. 
Um, our decorator did an amazing job. Our walkway, uh, it did cost $13,000, but you know what, I think Papa D's pretty happy with that. For our big Indian wedding, I had to have a number of outfits, and all my outfits came to $6,800. Now, that's a total steal, and I was really, really happy with my wedding and reception outfit. The reception was amazing. I mean, I was super happy. Suki was happy, and most of all, Papa D was happy. Uh, everyone was having a great time. The appetizers, the main course, the bar was happening all night. $49,500. It's a lot of money. Papa D, it was well spent though. Our miscellaneous costs such as circus performers, snow machine, and DJ cost us $11,200. And I think that was pretty good. So what we actually ended up spending on the wedding was $90,543, which we went over budget by about 5,543. Which really isn't a lot. I think we did pretty mean? good. It's almost it's five thousand dollars. What do you mean it's not a lot but of money? Five thousand dollars, that's like chump change. It was it was chump not change a to big who? deal. Who are you it, rolling five thousand dollars is nothing. Come on. You put toward a down payment. Are you kidding me? That's like not even a month's worth of work. Come on. It wasn't oh, wow. I think we did You're really a high good. Roller, I think what? we did just fine. Of course you did. That's a lot of money we own more budget. Not good. I'm not happy. You're Papa D won't be happy either. You're never happy, whatever. The dancers have danced. Suki and Gersh have danced. And the snow fell right on cue. The only question left is, is Suki finally allowed to get carried away? We came up with the budget. Uh, we had a plan A and a plan B. Um, and a C and a D. Well, yeah. And we went over plan A and we went over plan B and plan C and D. <laughs> so we stuck with the E. Well, we've lasted this long, so we'll see how long it goes. Is that a threat or...? <laughs> <laughs>